kids, I'm Hyla. Welcome to Hyla Cooking. So I've been getting a lot of requests for like healthy food, but I'm all like, what the health is that, guys? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> but uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a whole roasted cauliflower head, which is a very dramatic and delicious way to present a very healthy vegetable. And it also ties into a new book I've been working on. It's going to be released soon that um, this recipe is in there and it's about paleo cooking, which is kind of like Atkins and also happens to be gluten free. And so while I make the cauliflower, I brought my friend Vic McGarry here, who is a paleo and fitness expert. And he's got a blog, his blog is vicmcgarry.com. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to kind of tell us a little bit more about like what the paleo diet is, what it, what kind of stuff you might find in the cookbook and um, we'll make a roasted cauliflower. Does that sound yummy? Mmm, sounds yummy. You look like you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having flashbacks of when I had to eat cauliflower when I was a kid, you know, but uh, no, definitely cauliflower is going to be delicious. Roasted cauliflower is going to be amazing. Definitely fits into the paleo diet, which, I mean, it, it's getting a lot of media attention lately, but it basically just breaks down to if a caveman couldn't eat it, if you couldn't eat it raw or cooked with nothing more than a pointy stick in an open flame, then you're not going to be able to eat it. That breaks down to what? Meat, vegetables, fruit, nuts, and that's about it. All right, cool. Well, I think cauliflower fits in there, so we'll start that. I wish I had a stick to roast it on. <laughs> that would be cooler. Damn it. Okay, so I'm going to work on coring this out. How did you get started with paleo? Uh, very much so due to the, I guess, the effectiveness of it. Uh, it wasn't like, you know, I'm some big paleo expert from a scientific or research standpoint. It's more so from experience. Putting people on that diet, whether it's myself or my clients, has always led to the best in body composition, meaning it's, it's caused weight loss without causing any kind of uh, you know, muscle deterioration, just you know, fat loss is a good thing, but also performance-based metrics, uh, things like increased strength, endurance, uh, power output, all those things uh, definitely factor in with eating in a manner that includes you know, lots of vegetables, some meat, some fruit, and some nuts. Right, I think a lot of people have the idea that paleo or Atkins is like, you just eat meat all the time. But no, no, vegetables are, if anything, the key. And so we're cooking up some cauliflower today. Yeah, all right, so I just got all the green leaves cut off and kind of like get some of this stem out of there. It'll cook a little bit faster. Then I've got this cast iron skillet that we're gonna put here. Okay. A little bit of oil and the salt here. You'll be in charge of the salt. All right. So I'm just gonna massage it. Okay. <laughs> it kind of feels like a good little hand massage. All right. Kind of get it all, you know, in there. All right. So you want to sprinkle? Maybe put maybe a half a teaspoon of salt in your hand. Half a teaspoon. Let's check your eyeball skills. All right. That's as close as we're getting. Okay. All that's, right. That looks good. So yeah, sprinkle that over it. And that's pretty much it. We're just gonna put it in the oven for about an hour at 450, and then I'll make a little, we'll make a little vinaigrette saucy thing to go over it. All right, sounds good. Okay. Okay, look, Ooh. it's been an hour. Look, it's all golden brown and stuff. Mm, looks delicious. It smells pretty tasty. Mm. I'm gonna put it on this plate so we don't burn the shit out of ourselves. Um, and I have a special little Vic Agret that I made up in your honor. So, <laughs> so it's just lemon juice and olive oil and a healthy spoonful of some super chunky grainy mustard. Mm. A little salt, not too much, because, you know, excess salt is bad for your kidneys and stuff. And then some, I'm using cilantro. Do you like cilantro? Oh, yeah, I love cilantro. Okay, good. Parsley's good, too. All right, then I'm just gonna like, and it runs down into all the little crevices of our cauliflower. Yeah. And it makes like a cauliflower mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're probably wondering, how the F are we gonna eat this, you crazy <laughs> lunatic lady? So we'll cut it into quarters. All right, good. And then we'll have four servings. Awesome. So this would be like a good substitute for like pasta or right. Rice I mean, that's or anything. you know that's kind of the the big thing when people say, oh, you know, I want to start eating more healthy and get rid of the, the grain-based foods such as you know the bread, the pasta, or even the rice, or you know even even potatoes to some extent, even though it's not a, a grain. But oftentimes people want to avoid them. They don't know what to use for a side dish, and this is an amazing alternative if you're looking for that side dish to accompany whatever your protein source is: your steak, chicken, fish, whatever it may be. 
Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be real hot. Yeah, give me a fork. Okay. That is outstanding. Yay! <laughs> well done. Isn't it good? Oh, it's delicious. I love that that vinaigrette on there. That big vinaigrette. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, the uh, my new cookbook will be out soon, so you'll hear about that, I'm sure. And thanks so much for coming on, Vic. Thank you so much, Isla. Yay! Bye, guys.